Hello everyone, today I'm back in World of Guns Gun Disassembly and today we have uh, yet another very well known rifle uh, to take a look at. Uh, this time we've got the M4 carbine um, which is uh, still being used by the uh, United States military and many other countries around the world um, and uh, with its derivatives obviously. Uh, so this rifle is basically a version of the M16 um, rifle which was adopted into uh, US uh, Army um, or military service in uh, 1970. Um, so this uh, rifle was adopted a bit later um, uh, and uh, basically uh, they want to have it for uh, like specialty units who didn't know who didn't want to have the the full length uh, barrel of the M16. They wanted to have like a, a shorter, uh, a more sort of compact uh, rifle, which would be still uh, capable enough. Uh, so basically, this is that rifle, um, and uh, as I said, still being used today. Um, Nowadays, uh, they have some uh, gas piston uh, variants, uh, like uh, like uh, long uh, long gas piston variants, uh, such as the 416 uh, from HK, uh, which are being adopted uh, in many countries or are or are the, the main rifles in many countries and other sort of der derivatives of this rifle. Uh, so that tells you that this is a very modern rifle, uh, it is quite customizable. Um, so basically the layout is uh, very much the same as the M16, so we're not going to go uh, very much into detail on this rifle. If you haven't seen the video uh, that I did on the M16A1, uh, you should check that out, so uh, you'll be able to see uh, the more uh, sort of in-depth internals and how it works. Uh, so in this video I'm just going to point out some of the differences and then we're going to just um, go and uh, have some fun in the uh, demonstration um, in the demonstration part, I guess. Uh, so let's just take a look at this rifle. Uh, so basically, as I said, the, the barrel length is shorter than the M16. Um, nowadays they've got even shorter barrels uh, like... 14 inches I think and like even less than that um, I'm not sure why I uh, know about barrel lengths in inches uh, probably because I watch way too much uh, American youtubers um, but uh, apparently it makes more sense for me to uh, uh, talk about uh, barrels in inches rather than centimeters for whatever bizarre reason but anyway um, we have uh, a, a collapsing stock. Uh, these are very common nowadays on ARs. Um, you can get pretty much uh, whatever you want um, with a nice collapsing stock. Um, so we have uh, like a, a shortened uh, handguard and uh, it's round. Uh, and this one has a sort of block of plates on the sides. Um, these are basically Underneath those are, are uh, rails, so picketing rails, and if you don't want to have access to a rail, you just put that uh, stuff on there. Um, I think that's how it works. Uh, so basically, uh, you can uh, you can more easily hold the rifle. Uh, the front side has the same post um, still, uh, but obviously the newer ones have uh, free floated uh, handguards. Uh, so they don't have uh, front sights anymore, uh, like in that fashion. Um, they just have the gas port underneath the, the handguard, basically. The, there's a flash hider, uh, the very classic uh, hash, uh, flash hider. The barrel is sort of uh, contoured on the front for, uh, for stuff. I think it's for rifle grenades, I'm not sure. Uh, it certainly looks like that. Um, but these rifles do have uh, the capability to hold an underbarrel grenade launcher as well, uh, I believe. So basically, we've got a flat receiver top with a rail. Uh, uh, on the M16, obviously, you had the the unremovable charging handle, 
uh, which was actually part of the upper receiver. This one uh, just have has a rail there for any type of optic, pretty much. Um, just like the uh, just like the uh, M16s, these rifles are also uh, full auto, uh, if uh, if need be. Um, there's still the forward assist and the breast deflector on the side of the receiver there. Um, that's pretty much it. We still have well, we have a 30-round magazine here um, on M16s. They they had 20 rounders first of all, and then they used 30 rounds as well. Um, the receiver is pretty much exactly the same um, and uh, yeah let's take it apart and see uh, if there's any more differences uh, so we take off the stock apparently and we take why do we have to take off the rail covers that is weird who knows but here you can see the Picatinny rails underneath the rail covers these are there for mounting stuff how is this disassembly I literally have no idea. Okay. That would be my step. Just taking out the bolt. That's pretty much it. I don't know what's up with the extra disassembly. Um, we can take out the firing pin and the, the bolt. As you can see, that's all exactly the same here. Now let's take a look at that. So, bolt uh, is exactly the same. Um, we have uh, the same gas key on top of the boat carrier um, attached the same way pretty much there's still the buffer and uh, the spring inside of the stock uh, tube there the charging handle still at the back of the receiver um, and that's pretty much it there's still the same sort of gas tube that runs underneath the handguard um, that's pretty much it. So let's put it back together. The cam pin and this, no, this firing pin goes in here with the little pin. That goes in the receiver, uh, but the charging handle goes in there first. Okay, then the bolt and the bolt carrier, right? And then we can close this and uh, pin it back in place. Okay. Let's put the handguard back together because I don't know why um, we had to take that apart. It has literally nothing to do with anything. Uh, but anyway, let's put all of the handguard covers back on because we had to take them off for whatever reason. Okay, there's another one right and then we've got the, the buttstock and the mag and there we go one reassembled M4 carbine um, now let's uh, let's go into operation see how this thing works okay we can kit this thing out properly so let's do that first of all uh, we can put on the bayonet uh, now, as I said, these rifles are very customizable, uh, pretty much comp pretty much uh, like the modern-day AR-15s. Uh, so, we've got a front grip. Hmm. Another, an, another huge fan of front grips, except, uh, except like 45-degree ones. Uh, those are kind of cool, but uh, I don't think I like the vertical ones. Um, there's the safety. Not sure what this. Oh, that's for the site that's non-existent. Okay, we've got a pistol grip, which we can change apparently. Okay, whatever. Um, laser. Okay, we can put a laser on the side. That's nice. We can put a a light on the other. Nice. There's some sights. Oh shit, there's a lot of sights. So you can have a top handle uh, that just mounts onto the Picatinny rail. You can still have this configuration. Uh, or if you don't want that, you can just uh, take it off. Uh, that um, handle has also the rear sight integrated. 
you can have a normal uh, rear sight, uh, like a, a folding one, as you can see here. Um, and you can also have something more modern, like an ACOG. Uh, I think the US uh, has ACOGs in service nowadays. Uh, you can correct me on that, but I think they do. Um, okay, and we can also have something else, like a, a rifle scope. That's a pretty nice scope. Okay, and we can also have HWS, that's a, a red dot. Uh, an E-Attack, obviously. That suits it quite nicely. Okay. Uh, what else can we have? Stock adjustment. So, uh, the stock is just adjustable for length. Uh, pretty much for length of pull. Or you can just um, fold it all the way in for easier transportation. Um, but, pretty much the, the, the sort of positions... Uh, that are like in between fully extended and fully closed are very much useless uh, but they're there for I, I guess like shorter people or, or whatever um, so we have leaf sight oh now that's special I haven't seen that oh that's that's for the grenade launcher isn't it of course okay let's mount uh, let's mount a grenade launcher shall we there's a 20 round mag uh, how do I mount a grenade launcher? We probably have to get rid of the bayonet. Okay. And then... Uh, oh, tactical light. Oh, shit. There's a, an extra light. So we've got two lights and a laser now. That's pretty cool. Um, right. Where's the, where's the fucking grenade launcher? Let's get rid of this... Oh not the pistol grip. Let's get rid of the tactical light. Get rid of the tactical light and we'll go for a launcher um, installed. Okay, so we have to remove the bottom of the handguard. Uh, but, that, but then you've got a grenade launcher underneath your barrel. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Um, so it's just like a uh, pull open type grenade launcher uh, and it's got a, a second trigger um, on, the, on the bottom there. Uh, let's test this thing out shall we? Uh, fire grenade. Okay. That was uh, very uh, uninspiring. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> That's fine. And the, the sight on top is for the grenade launcher um, basically. And I think that's pretty much it. We did everything in that list. Uh, so we've kitted out our M4 uh, carbine. Let's uh, let's fire this thing some. So you can fire it single shot or we can go to automatic. Oh, this one's got three round burst as well. Nice. That's pretty cool. And then full auto. Okay. Um, let's uh, reload it and uh, pull the charging handle okay we did the stock adjustment but not uh, completely apparently so you can see it's got a couple of different uh, lengths to it um, of course like the modern AR-15 stocks have even more adjustment um, or you can get one without any adjustment like a, a polymer one um, which is combined with a, a polymer lower. That's pretty cool. Uh, okay, so we did the sides. We didn't do the suppressor. Let's do the suppressor quickly. Um, suppressor. There it is. Oh, that's a little tiny suppressor. Uh, let's see if it's any quieter. Yeah, that's a bit excessively quiet. Um, but that's fine. What else do we have to do? Um, light on. Sure, let's put the light on. Where is the light on? Uh, launcher aperture. How do I turn on the light? Do I have to click on it? No. Oh, fuck's sake. 
Uh, sides, suppressor, light on. Oh, it's on the top, right. Let's put the um, the pistol light, the pistol grip light on. Where is it? We have to take off the um, the grenade launcher. Removed. And then we'll put on the tactical light and tactical light. Come on. Oh yeah. Now we can turn the thing on. There it is. Nice. Okay. Um, and let's go to the X-ray. So inside is uh, exactly the same uh, as uh, an M16, pretty much. And the cutaway is not terribly good, but you get the idea, pretty much. Um, there it is. Okay. And then let's do some slow motion fire. So let's do, uh, let's reload it. I think we have it on full auto. Oh yes. Let's go slow motion. Let's just go uh, like um, cutaways and slow motion. Oh yeah. Here you can see the whole thing in action. Perfect. Nice. Okay. Um, what else? What else do we have to do? I think. Did we do? I think we did everything. I think so. There it goes. Light off. Um, I think we did everything here. I'm not sure why it's not uh, giving me the the thing. Let's see. Um, should we do like without the uh, cutaway and do some slow slow motion shooting all right slow that's pretty slow apparently apparently it doesn't work anyway um you've seen the m4 uh it's featured in all of the games and all of the films ever so you're probably pretty familiar with it and uh, now you see how it works and uh, where it comes from so hopefully you enjoyed this video uh, if you liked it you can press the like button and subscribe to my channel you can also check out my other videos and uh, i will see you next time